is because this whole movement is the only thing that's moving. If you look here, the body is completely still. Like everything is mm -hmm. still for the first has to move at frame 10 so for the first nine frames the only thing that's moving is this wrist and arm which does make it look like it's isolated does that make sense so yeah even when i'm i'm just moving like if i'm looking at something it's going to be my whole head my chest my shoulder like my whole body is going to be moving we very rarely only just move like one limb you know what i mean like um mm -hmm. Have you seen have you seen that AI assisted animation program called Cascadeur? Mm, I'm not sure. No, I don't think I have. Let me see if I can quickly get up a, a thing because that, that that's actually a good example. Cascadeur AI animation. Basically what it does is it automates yeah, so that's a good example. Here it is, cool. So you see how all that they're doing is moving this foot. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the, what the AI is doing is it's counterbalancing and doing what everything else should be doing. So if you watch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Is this a Maya plugin or? No, no, this is a whole new program. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if it will be replacing Maya, but. I, I could honestly see this as being quite annoying, to be honest. Um, mm. Like, like for example, if I move something, like I don't want. Like, I don't know. Like for example, if you're doing cartoony animation and you just want to move a limb, then you. I guess you could just turn it off. But I don't like things moving without me moving it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but if you look at this, basically, it's a brilliant example of how weight shifting, how even moving your foot, it affects the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. See that? And so, yeah. just doing a walk, and see how it gives it back. It's, it's really incredible, actually. Um, but that is what is missing from your, um, 